I've just knocked the case. Hello, so as you can tell, today's video is something a bit different and to be honest, probably the most chaotic pack with me video ever because I'm sat here and I'm thinking I've got to film a pack with me and I actually don't know what I'm packing. But the logic was I wanted to film a video so I've got a video for next week and I need to pack. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm going to Ibiza tomorrow with Dan for Jason's birthday. There's a group of like 12, I think there's about 12 of us. I can't work out what my hair looks like way too much and I just need to pin it. So yeah, we're going to Ibiza tomorrow. It's a very fleeting trip. So naturally I'm taking a massive suitcase because I need options and also TMI, but most of us are probably going to be girls here. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to come on my period, which makes me want to pack even more options because when I'm on my period, I just think I need options because if my bloating situation or whatever, basically I get really, 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 really bad period symptoms. If it's too much, I actually like probably won't be able to get certain things on. So we're gonna need the options. I have my suitcase here, which as you can see, it's not designer, it's not exactly stunning, but it does the job. Also, it's very fucking light, which is the whole point of a suitcase. Why would you wanna take up like five kilos of your allowance on the suitcase itself? It makes no sense. My dad got these from boys when I was like a fetus and we've still got them, still work. They're not broken. Look, people can spend the money on what they want. I buy stupid shit, but I can think of a lot of other stupid stuff I would rather spend like £3,000 on than a suitcase. And I probably will spend that money on other stupid shit. So I'm not really one to judge because um, I do spend money on stupid shit, but designer luggage, like pretty luggage that weighs a shit ton, I just... I don't really get it and I can't really get on board with it. I think I'm basically in this video gonna pull everything out I want to pack and then I'll probably pack off camera because it's, it's just a little bit much really, isn't it? I have got this white bag, which I'm actually gonna pack. I've never used this, as you can see, it's from PLT and I've had this for like, I'm not gonna lie, I think I've had this for like two years and I've never used it, but I am yet to find a white bag or like a nude bag that I, here we go with my stupid spending, that I really, really, really like and want. So I've, I don't have a white bag. So I remember there was something I needed a white bag for and I thought, I'm going to get this. So it's very um, holiday vibe. So I definitely am actually going to pack that. What else have I got in here? I just used this to lug stuff that was at home. Um, and I also brought back with me, I need to wipe these before I pack them my doc martens um i have had these for ages they are slowly 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 very slowly but surely getting worn in um and i know i will get questions about which ones these are because they're not just standard doc martens i think they're the jaden ones not the ultra platform ones but like a little bit of a platform these just look so cool when i was at uni i used to wear them on nights out with like dresses and i felt like an edgy girl. Some of the stuff I'm gonna show you is new and I have bought recently, please don't judge me. Um, I just need options. Some of this stuff, do you know what? I'm probably gonna return it. I'm gonna keep the labels on and I'm gonna return it if I don't wear it whilst I'm out there, but I'm gonna pack it anyway just in case. Um, it just, it basically this holiday just came around way quicker than I was expecting it to. And it threw me off guard, which has meant I've ended up having to order like, you know what whatever so i've got some new bits i've also got some old bits but i feel like this video is going to be perfect timing because it's coming to the end of summer so the things i'm showing you are probably already on sale or going to go on sale come in you've got your bucket hat oh my god my bucket hat I'll, I'll, I'll get onto that. Also, if you see anything that you like in this video, do keep an eye on my Depop because it might end up on there, especially if I go past the returns. But first of all, let's do swimwear because to be honest, the main thing I'm probably going to be packing is swimwear. Swim, this is some new swim bits that I got. I got these from IMG. I've never bought from them before. I didn't get charged customs. I've seen people say that they get charged customs. I personally, didn't get charged customs i'm not really sure why it's the one that basically every man and their dog has on instagram and um, because i'm a basic bitch so it's got the gia thing in the middle 
really really simple Thai situation I'm yet to try this on this literally came today I didn't actually think it was going to come I completely forgot I'd even ordered it I got this in an extra small which normally I'd rather get a small in bikini tops but they didn't have a small in stock and when I looked online because some of this actually was already on sale um when I looked online at like resale sites I was looking at pictures of what people's sizing was and actually I feel like their sizing runs a little bit big actually I don't know is it going to be substantial I don't know so yeah I got the full bikini set situation of this so then the bottoms are literally just like this these I think I also got these in an extra mall which I definitely need more of a small now um but again these don't actually look that um tiny to be honest i mean they are tiny tiny if you know what i mean but they're not tiny tiny then got this like red tie-dye one which i think is really cute again i got an extra small in the bottom and i think again i got an extra small in the top um these are just bikinis i can wear these um i think i'm gonna post this after i've already been so i don't really mind sharing where i'm staying and stuff me and dan are staying at the amare hotel so i might use these around the hotel equally if it's like super 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 hot and we're going to do something i might wear i might literally just wear like a bikini top and shorts or bikini top and skirt so that's some of the swimwear another new bit of swimwear which i bought with the intention of this being a potential option to wear um to ocean beach on the tuesday i bought this bikini from rat and bower which straight off the bat no one scream at me i know it's ridiculously expensive but i've just been i've been eyeing up the brand for ages i just have I've, I've, i just have so i thought i just need to I just need to treat myself and try it out so it's this kind of like zebra print bikini it looks black and white but it's not it's like cream and dark blue tie side um it's got the rb on the back and this isn't a haul and then this cute little matching top again triangle tops are my favorite bikini tops i just think they're the most flattering on most chest sizes shapes everything to be honest same with tie side bottoms i think you can't really go wrong and then this was like the thing that made me think oh i could actually wear this on tuesday i got this shirt um, so yeah just for reference this stuff does run small i tried this top in an extra small didn't really like it so i've got it in a small and i just feel like this could look quite cute um with the bikini underneath it for ocean beach on tuesday but again unsure i'm packing options here with thinking options i'm going to talk you through some other options quickly because i know someone will ask me if i think it's worth the price honestly it's a bit like saying is a designer bag worth the price to the person paying the price probably but realistically you know everything wise quality wise like does it does a quality alone without the name of the brand warrant the price no it was literally like ridiculously expensive for a bikini so we're gonna move on to my little chamber of swimwear that i've got under the bed another thing that i bought i bought this months ago like literally months ago um i got this miser label swimsuit i literally just said i've got no red swimwear here we are, red swimwear. Um, I am gonna pack this just because, like I've said, I am during my period and I feel like I get really bad bloating and stuff and I might feel more comfortable in this swimsuit. Um, these swimsuits as well, you can tie them like any way. So it's just very, very easy. It's very comfortable. You can like snatch yourself in. They do make you feel amazing. The only reason why I kind of don't know if I will end up wearing it is just because I feel like months ago i bought it with the intention of wearing it to ocean and i just feel like ocean is probably a sea of a, a variety of different colors of this swimsuit because it's an amazing swimsuit but do i want to be a part of the sea i don't know if i do especially if especially if i'm on my period i just i don't know i don't know i'm packing a lot of swim and before anyone thinks i mean you're never gonna get through all that i know i'm not but it's very light and it means i've got options and i like having options this is why i paid for extra baggage because your girl 
likes having her options. So I got this gorgeous bikini, which fun fact, I got my holiday nails done this morning with Harriet, who is actually now gonna be joining us, which is fun. Got them done to match the bikini because it's got like the blue and orange. And I just feel like cute. So I got this for Royal London bikini, which I'm going to pack. Their bikinis are super, super cute. Every summer, I highly recommend you check out their swim selection because they're very unique and I feel like they've not really like gone viral, viral just yet. So if you're wanting something where the chances of someone else rocking up in the exact same thing of you are, are a little bit lower. It's a really, really good brand. The quality is really, really good. But I'm going to pack this because here's the vibe for this. This is something that Jason put together, the birthday boy, when he came around the other night. This is a jaded cover-up that I got ages ago. This is another ocean potential. Or I think we're going to go to like a nice place on the Monday. I could wear it there. It's like this maxi beach cover-up thing if you go back and watch my things i bought recently from summer last year with the poster girl dressing this dress is in there if you want to see it tried on um but it's like got all these like cute cutouts at the top it kind of ties around the neck and then it's like a really nice floaty maxi mesh and with this underneath it it looks really really cute so i'm packing this all together as a potential this is coming away with me 100 percent it's another jaded cover-up purely because when i went to thailand i pretty much wore this every day like this is one of those things where you could pack 100 outfits but it's my one thing that i will just end up putting on every day it's this like cowl neck tie it around the back mini dress cover up it's super flattering so easy to wear and i'm packing that just for like day to day if we're walking around someone that lives in england i've got an awful lot of bikinis is my skim swim chef's kiss skim swim is the only swim that can get me to wear a bottom that is not a thong like these bottoms are like I mean, could you believe it? This is actually the front run, that's the back. Can we believe we've got me wearing this kind of swimwear? No, but Kim clearly put crack in this bikini because I wore it so much in Thailand. It's a staple and I've now got thong bottoms that she launched a couple of weeks ago for when I wanna thought it out. Uh, you, you just can't not pack a white bikini. And of course, I got the marble skims one. So I'm packing another white bikini, just the triangle top literally for whatever i mean if i do come on a period it's really not practical but the bikini top a white top with shorts and stuff during the day i'll take this as a fun option it's my swim studio bikini it's like swirly do you know what i feel like i should do you know what i paid for 20 kilos luggage so i may as well like at least use 12 of it do you know what i mean like swimwear is so light so i feel like that's it for swim i'm probably oh no i'm absolutely talking out of my ass that is not it for swim this is something that i want to take as well this is another jaded piece they don't sell it anymore and i've had it i've actually had this quite a while um but i, I just think this swimming costume is really quite cute um i I'm not going to be able to show you what this looks like on. If you Google jaded cut out ombre swimsuit, the e-commerce pictures should still be on Google. You should still be able to find them. Um, it's just like this cut out jaded London swim bikini. I'm going to take that um, in case, again, I want to wear it for ocean. Because if I am on period and I feel more comfortable in a swimming costume, albeit it has got a cut out over the stomach so does that make sense not really but if i want to wear a swimming costume and feel more comfortable in one but i don't want to wear the mars label one in fear of just being in the sea of fishtail swim i can put that on instead so i'm gonna take that and then the final like kind of cover-up sort of thing that i'm gonna take is this again this is from fry i'm probably saying that wrong um london it's just this cute um purple thing cute for if we go for any like daytime beachy drinks vibes i'm gonna pack these two missy empire little jumpsuits you've probably seen the long version of this absolutely everywhere in like bright pink and stuff i bought these ages ago 
in the short version for i think it was for mardi gras festival um, and then i've got the baby pink one as well just in case on sunday i don't feel comfortable in any of the things that i want to wear for glitter box or any other nights out they're just super easy to put on they're so flattering like they just make your body look 10 10 super super easy to wear can wear them um, during the day with slides at night with trainers the black one i'd probably actually to find even wear the pink one with my dogs i'm also going to pack i don't have the shorts to hand because they're sopping wet but i'm going to pack a pair of zara shorts that look like this because can't go wrong with a pair of denim shorts but i'm not making the mistake of packing multiple again because i do that every time and denim in the heat and it's very hot there at the moment it just doesn't work when you sit down girls you know what i mean you, it just gets very uncomfortable when you sat down for a prolonged period of time a big group was going and sophie and danny are coming they own a company called go guy i'm pretty sure jason said sophie has packed me a dress to wear on sunday for glitter box but i know what i'm like and if i'm super super bloated like i've said there is also a chance i won't even fit into it so i wanted to make sure that i had a little bit of backup options from Cuckoo, who I have ordered from a couple of times recently, and I'm just gonna say this now, their sizing is worse than O Polly. I got like a black two-piece set, which I love, but I'm not packing because it's long sleeve. Um, and I got that in size small, and like, it fits, and it fits pretty well, but like, I'm thinking this definitely isn't a small small like it's a very very small size small if that makes sense so you'll have seen these dresses and tops everywhere on instagram at the moment with the fluffy skirts i got all these in a size small and i'm gonna pack them because i might wear on sunday not 100 percent sure this looks really weird off camera but if you go on cuckoo's instagram that's how you um that's how you spell it um you'll see in the tag pictures it's basically everyone and their nan in these bodysuits so this is the dress version which i feel like this could look really 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 cute with my docks for sunday maybe then i got the bodysuit version in the gray again in a size small um purple one which i think is really 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 cute and very very unique um which i'm gonna get on to in a second what i would wear this with but i am gonna pack this as a backup like i said these run very very small like these bodysuits are so hard to get on and off which is the one thing that's kind of if to be honest it's the only thing that's putting me off wanting to wear it because i'm just thinking when i'm pissed coming back am i actually going to be able to get this off i actually don't know if i will especially when i've sweated in it i'm concerned i'm gonna have to cut myself out of it so but then when it's on it's not i mean it's tight but it's not like oh i can't breathe tight it's just so hard to get off where the body suits i did buy this <coughs> from jaded but as you can see it's not the same shade of purple and it's really driving me mad so I actually don't think I'm gonna pack this one. I think this one is just gonna have to stay at home. But um, yeah, I will probably be returning that one because yeah, I got that in a medium by the way and it's definitely way too big on my waist. I got it in a medium out of desperation because it was the only one left. I'm gonna pack my Urban Outfitters t-shirt. It's just this one. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it a million times. It's got this like writing on it. Um, I'm gonna pack this to sleep in and maybe probably fly home in. I need to sort out what I'm gonna wear to the airport, but I feel like I'll do that when I finish filming this video. So let's look at the little pile we've got so far compared to the size of the case. Can we see? I've probably been a little bit excessive there, but we move. Now we can move on to another thing that i'm going to be packing which is fragrance so i'm going to be packing this one which i got the other day it's from zara um if you've smelt the louis vuitton ombre nomad what's it called um yeah the louis vuitton ombre nomad i don't know if that's how you say it um, perfume when this is dried down not when it's sprayed straight away because it does smell a bit rosy but when it's dried down it smells exactly 
like it my friend alicia has been wearing this for weeks and i keep saying have you got louis vuitton on and she's like no it's zara um so yeah this was literally 20 quid and it smells so so good my old this fragrance is just gorgeous um i know people say there's dupes the only one that really smells similar to me is cloud by ariana grande so if you want to get a similar scent on a smaller budget highly recommend but if you can um and I know that not many people will, I really don't want to sound tone deaf here, but if you can um, splash out or ask for this as a gift, it's such a gorgeous scent. I hated it at first, and then I sprayed it on my coat as a tester, and I was walking around like three days later, and I was like, that smells delicious. It's like a, it's like a candy kind of smell. It's really, 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 really good. So those are gonna be my two fragrances that I take on holiday with me. I'm not gonna take my entire Dyson Air wrap because that's ridiculous, but I am gonna take the main thing and two attachments in case I do need to, I don't see myself wearing my hair down, but if I do want to, I'd rather have this in the curling iron because it just works so much better. But just for now, whilst we are on the topic of hair, I'm also going to take this number, ah, number six, Olaplex, and also the oil will be coming with me. Also, some heat protectant spray because you've got to have the heat protectant spray. I just love this. Like, it's like a cheese, I mean, I don't think it's genuine cheesecloth, but it's like a cheesecloth kind of feeling massive overshirt i got it from asos like years ago it's lasted me ages it's really 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 good quality you might not always think of asos and think good quality but girls it's good quality stuff so i'm gonna pack that to wear like over bikinis and whatnot i'm also going to pack my cap this little alphalete one i love wearing this yeah me and dan went into lids the other day dan's a massive like basketball nba fan and obviously they've got all like the jerseys and like cool hats and stuff in there so i've got i think it, dan said it's a new era hat it's not like got anything cool on it other than that it's a bucket hat um it's a size large because i've got a massive head um and i just i put it on and i was like do you know what i'm not mad at it i feel like it's kind of cute with like bikinis and stuff obviously not wearing a hoodie with a bucket hat because i feel like it, that does look a little bit strange oh i also definitely want to pack this we've just seen it up there god it's amazing what you see when you walk around this headband is amazing for when i take my makeup off so you're coming with me there's one more thing in the wardrobe which i walked past cbx bbx the brand on instagram and it's basically it's a very thick mesh like the jaded ones are very thin it's a very thick mesh god the zip makes this look so weird um beach cover up but you can also actually just like i actually wore it out because it's such a nice dress it's got this kind of like detailing on the side and i'm not even joking if you've got like a nipped in waist and like a slightly bigger hip bones oh god look at me with this bucket out and look i'm right idiot um obviously i've got <laughs> the dips and dipping in the hips but my like waist to actual like hip bone ratio is ratio in and i just feel like this really flatters it and i love clothes that do that because i'm like i'm gonna take my own home here it's one of my favorite things on my body um but yeah like look at that it's just stunning so I'm gonna pack this. If we do end up doing any nice meals, this could be a really nice option. Um, and I just think it's super, super, super cute. It's very weird off. I've had this, it's from House CB. I've had it for years. It's just a really nice dress. Again, same kind of flatteringness as the BVX one that I just spoke about. I think I probably actually will take that. Anyway, we need to move on to shoes. So shoes wise, I will wear one of these pairs to the airport tomorrow. So I've got my off-white trainers and then my brand new all-white dunks. One of these I will wear to the airport. The other one will go in the suitcase. Purely from like a weight point of view, I'm probably gonna wear my off-whites and pack my dunks. Um, I've then got, carrying on with the off-white theme, I don't know if I want to show you these because I've had them uh, a while and they're filthy on like the actual foot. I swear I don't have dirty feet, but it's just like 
I pretty much wore these every single day in Thailand. I wore these in Malta. I wear them pretty much every single day. They're a little bit dirty, but I did clean like the strap thing earlier. Um, but I'm packing my off-white slides because literally I'll probably wear them the most on holiday. I'm then packing these like flat form sandals from Misguided. I've had these for years. Um, I'll probably wear these to, to just, I'll probably wear those to Ocean. I know some people wear heels, but I just think the heels are gonna end up coming off anyway for me. Like, trust me, I've learned my lesson when it comes to heat and feet and heels. Like my feet were so swollen. I had blisters about an inch deep all over the bottom of my feet. So I'm not doing that again. These are just from Public Desire. Um, fun fact, these are actually my graduation shoes. Uh, they're a very, very, very comfy heel. They smell really weird. Not because of my feet, but because of the material that they are. Um, so yeah, that's shoes and a toiletry. Obviously not everything that I am gonna forget things. For example, some of my skincare is in the bathroom. The cleanser I'm gonna take is the Kiehl's Calendula one because my Elemis one ran out and to be honest, right now I really can't be asked to spend 40 pound on a new cleanser. The things for my skincare, for my face, this is my absolute favorite moisturizer at the moment and it's just like, makes you feel amazing. I spoke about the Kiehl's um, moisturizer before and like the bumps I was getting on my forehead. I don't know if it was that or the Elemis cleanser, but it was one of them because I've got like a couple, like maybe like two bumps left now. The rest of them are gone. This is so like non-aggravating, amazing. Like I love, 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 love this moisturizer. So you're coming home with me. Like is my Glow Recipe SPF 50. If you ever wonder why my face is like ghostly pale compared to the rest of me, it's because I SPF 50 that bitch every single day. So that's coming with me. Use that every single day. Love, other worthy notes. Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is coming with me. This is the best moisturizer ever. And if you want to really live your best slug life, get the cream like gel version. Put that on first, wait for it to sink in, and then spray this over the top, and you will literally be glowing. I love this. I'm taking this because it's smaller and it's just a bit more convenient. Shampoo and conditioner. I'm not taking my good stuff because I just feel like I'll probably leave it there and forget about it. Um, and also. I don't have that much left of it. I'd rather leave it till I'm back when my hair will probably need some TLC from the sun. So I've got this that I took to Thailand. I did actually quite like it to be fair. It's very light. It's this shampoo and for when I do need to put something on my hair, I'm going to be using the Maria Nilo Luminous Colour Mask. I feel like I might need this after a couple of, of days because I've had light bits put back in my hair. I feel like I just might need a little, I feel like I'm really overthinking it because I'm probably gonna wash my hair once. But just in case I like my hair to feel nice and don't like it when my hair feels like straw. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this mask just in case. And my Olaplex number three, um, because when I'm like swimming or if I go in the sea at all, I like putting this in my hair. And this is what I use on my body. We've got a couple of different versions, but honestly, the aerosol version slaps. So, so, so easy to use. The only thing I don't like is it does go on the floor all around you. It's a lot harder to control. So, someone might break a neck, but because I know it's there, it won't be me. So, for selfish reasons, it's coming with me. Um, what other things have I got toiletry-wise? Razor things, say no more. I do get laser hair removal, but you still need to touch things up a little bit sometimes. Number A Isla ones. If you find lashes make your eyes look really droopy and just like they're too heavy on your eyes. Cause I've not got super small eyes, but I haven't got huge eyes either. Massive strip lashes really, really, really don't suit me. Um, these Isla three quarter ones are so, so good. The best ones are the number 13 ones, but they are a lot more subtle. Um, so I'll probably use those for like day stuff, ocean beach. I've never tried these ones before. They look a little bit more intense, but still not too much. So I'm going to give those a go. And then the number twos as well. Again, really, really good for daytime. The number eights are a bit better for nighttime. So I'm going to pack those. A couple more accessories I'm going to pack. I'm going to take this black bag as my cheap black bag to take anywhere with me. Um, this will go in my luggage. It's not going to be um, what? 
I basically take on the plane with me. I'm just gonna pack it in my luggage. I am gonna take this bag. This bag is like, well, it's sad how it came about. I actually bought this one because my Saint Laurent bag, which was my first ever like big designer purchase <clears throat> for myself. Uh, someone smashed the back window of my car and stole it, which you could argue, why did you leave your bag in the car? Um, <clears throat> but I was really upset. I waited a few months and I decided on this Prada bag and I use this every single day. The cost per wear on this bitch right now is probably 2p. Well worth the money. Um, so that's also coming with me, just not in my suitcase. Then makeup bag. I'm not going to bore you with going through all of this and pulling it all out. But I've got my makeup brushes, two eyeshadow palettes just because there's like one specific MAC one that I really, really like using. You can tell I've been nattering. My voice is literally going. Um, obviously, I need to pack underwear. Uh, if anyone's thinking, what the hell? Like, you've got no, like, actual, like, warm clothes. Like I said, it is going to be, like, 31 degrees pretty much whilst we're there. I don't feel like I'm too overpacked for a few days. I feel like I've definitely overpacked way worse than this before. I'm actually quite proud of myself. My, oh, do you know what I am going to pack, actually, which I've just remembered? I am going to pack this pair of um, Alpha Leap material shorts because material shorts are so 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 comfy way comfier than um denim shorts ever could be and these are my favorite favorite material shorts that alpha Lee do other than the essential slash core shorts i think that's what they're called now but yeah obviously my underwear as well i do need to pack she's just packing up and i just feel like i've gotta <laughs> for sure yeah I was a little bit overzealous because I've literally filled half the thing. But you will be glad to know I've actually realised I've forgot some complete holiday staples. So I didn't want to leave you out or leave you in the lurch. So I'm going to show you exactly the little extras that I'm putting in. I've just got this like white, it's kind of like a towel crop top from Zara. In Zara, again, white basics. I've had this for ages i've got this i've had this ah i've had this for a while as you can tell because it's plc i've got this like toweling uh button down dress which is just it's just a really really cute dress um i quite like wearing it on holiday and i do find it's a bit of a staple for me so i'm also going to pack that then this top which i literally bought for ibiza which doesn't make much sense because it's long sleeves but it's mesh um and it's from farai london it goes really really well with the bikini um so i could actually wear this with the bikini underneath it for ocean that's another option but i'm very much a just in case girly then final two things i'm saving the best till last it's my favorite holiday item ever if you watch my thailand vlog, vlog you'll know i got this bbx brand um vest top which is to be honest, it's, it's just a white vest top, but it's very, very, very cool. It's very cool vibes. Like, you can tie it multiple different ways because it's got, like, three straps. Um, and I really, really like it. It's very low at the back as well, so you don't get, like, weird, um, super high tan lines. And then the final thing that I'm taking, I've worn this to death. Misguided size 6. I've had this for, like, three, four years. This ribbed mini dress from Misguided sounds weird because it's from misguided but really thick really good quality stands the test of time i use this every summer and it's still like look at the shape retention like can we just it's a really really nice little dress um this is kind of like the jaded like flowy one that i showed you where i'll just kind of wear it anywhere and everywhere there it is we've got all my shoes you can tell that these are new these were never white to be fair they were always off white clues in the name all the shoes shoes i need to wipe these down all my clothes are here in this pile i mean you can see even in like size comparison to the bag i've not really got loads um and then all this as well and then for my big like bag that i take on the plane because obviously i can't fit everything in this i just take my five pound primark bag <laughs> um i've had it for like i want to say like four or five years and it's not failed me yet so it lives on and it's coming to Ibiza with me. Like I said, I've never been to Ibiza, so I'm very, very excited, very, very intrigued. By the time this video goes up, I will have been and probably already be back um, just because I am aware that when you film a pack with me, you're essentially telling everyone exactly what's in your luggage 
so if they want to have a little pick of it if anything went wrong i just feel like a complete idiot so this won't be going up until i get back um but for anyone else watching who is maybe going to Ibiza for the first time, it might be helpful if they have recommendations. So feel free to leave any recommendations for things to do, places to go in the comments. Um, I'm very, very excited. I'm intrigued. Everyone that I know that's been has been like, you're going to love it. It's like magical. Like everyone says it's like magical and you go once and then you get hooked. So we'll see. I'm not like a big, 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 big drinker. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes... I'll have a massive blowout and I feel like that could be Sunday but I'm not a massive drinker so I should be able to have some good memories also I'm not promoting binge drinking in any way shape or form we'll see you in my next video more fitness content coming soon I promise I'm getting so many questions recently about glute videos and glute workout videos and like I felt personally as though people were sick of seeing glute content, but clearly they're not. So I will film some glute workouts, I promise. I will do more content around it. I will do more training content in general. It's just very, I don't want to say hard because I have a relatively easy job compared to 99% of people, but people are very like funny about people filming and stuff at the moment. So yeah i've just remembered actually i should probably pack some skims bodysuits if i do pack any it'll be the fits everybody ones and the essential ones um, and follow me on instagram because i might have posted some holiday pictures i also might have not i've not posted a selfie on instagram in three months make of that what you will goodbye <laughs>